guys welcome to another commentary done by Diggity upper left hand corner we got doodle starting as the orange Proto or sorry bottom left hand corner we got doodle starting as the orange protoss upper left hand corner we have Stargus starting as the blue zerg this is going to be on radeon and this is starcon 2024 from seattle played uh a while ago but still we got some good replays this is going to be a true challenge of doodles versus zerg acumen doodle we know if you if you follow a long-term follower of this channel you know that doodle is a solid player but if you're also anywhere paying attention to north american starcraft scene you know the striker is an amazing zerg player and i think he uh, he's one of those guys that eventually he's gonna win one of these one of these times it's just a matter of uh i think the the only thing i can think of is it's like just needs to expand the the number of build orders he's doing like throwing some wild ones that opens up the variants for the rest that makes the rest of the build uh the rest of the build order sail a little bit more meantime doodle it's kind of like uh dewalt going for a double two gate every once in a while to keep his opponents honest and Bonneth going for the the 910 gate and always having that in his pocket is kind of a, a thing along the lines anyway pylon on the front we have an immediate probe scout to bottom right which i think this is going to be a forge first opener here from doodle because he's not Johnny on the spot with the... Is he going to try to sneak a 12 Nexus will be my next question. This is a pretty late probe. Probably not. I think this is still going to be a Forge first opener. Probably going to be Double Scout to see if he can sneak the Nexus before a cannon, however. Yeah, there's the Forge. Let's see if he pulls the probe out as well. It is cross... Uh, it, I think he's going to end up with a last Scout spawn, unfortunately. So maximum lack of uh, information here for him. But... Overlord making its way bottom left. Scout. Overlord not going to see that probe as well. I will be curious if Doodle has something in particular prepared against Striker, knowing that Striker is such a formidable opponent. By the way, interestingly enough, no uh, gas grab for Striker. So I'm wondering if Striker is going to go for three hatch here before expansion. That is going to get scouted by Doodle. So Wandering Up should be able to, to note the lack of gas. Actually, sorry, I'm thinking of TVZ for some reason. <clears throat> so gas time is fine. Gonna wait for the initial Zerglings here. Chase that down, and there's the other split. We did have a preventative cannon, but I think that was a initial Nexus. And Striker, even if he got these Zerglings out, he doesn't know where to send them, and Radeon's a huge map. I think actually Doodle might have even been able to go... I, I think because of the size of the map and the lack of information, I think he might have been able to go gateway into cannon. But playing it absolutely safe. Hatchery now up at the 9 o'clock location. Didn't want to play too risky there. Gas plopping down after that third hatchery at the 9 o'clock. From the upper angle. Now, knowing Striker, I'm guessing he's just going to go for the Stainer Bread and Butter build. Which is the the 3 hatch Mutalisk into the 4th hatch. Uh, get those Scourge out. Try to box out that Corsair and play from that direction. This is, he's got three easy gas to hold, but part of the problem for that is there is a, another nearby base potentially for Protoss to go ahead and grab and procure, and that is a ramp here at the six o'clock location. I have seen Radeon more times than not turn into um, Protoss going for the long game off sometimes fewer bases and just trying to get better trades with robotics and some, and oftentimes Corsair shuttle support, tech to layer, by the way. In the midst of this, we do have the 7x core warping in the meantime for Doodle. No Zealots as of yet, though. That's kind of an interesting... Okay, first Zealot queued up. So not just a cybernetic score, but a lot of stuff. And this is honestly... I'm a little bit concerned, actually, by the lack of Zealots here. I think Striker seeing, is going to see that lack of Zealots, too. Probe has managed to stay alive for a considerable period of time. So it's going to be able to see that layer. We got more Zerglings, I think, queued up for that exact reason, though. Uh, potentially, we have Zergling speed on the way. But yeah, uh, Doodle playing it a little bit risky here. The lack of Zelts is not going to give him a lot of map control here in the mid game. He might end up with a, ooh, interestingly enough, going for a Citadel of a Dune on a turnaround. I think this has to be for Dark Templar because if he's going for like a Zelt leg speed, something along those lines, looks like that probe was finally taken care of when we have the Spire being built in the midst of this. Secondary problem is he's going for the Citadel of a Dune instead of a Stargate. And Striker is going Spire here, and Striker is one of those players that will check the main to see if you built the preventative cannons. And so we just don't have a lot of... So plus one weapons upgrade, we don't have a lot of anti-anything on the ground right this second. Second gas and a second gateway along that natural expansion. 
So no ant. So zealot. Yeah, leg speed being upgraded. Uh, second gateway being dropped. I'm not sure I like this play from Boodle because the, there wasn't going to be a lot of zealots out in sufficient time. Maybe he can get the zealot, zealots and the zealot leg speed out there to at least keep the uh, mutalisks occupied. I'm not. I never like that honestly from Protoss, where it's like they sacrifice the zealots across the field to go ahead and get air up or the air protections. But here's the thing, like, even if he moves the Mutalus, it, even if a single Muta dives in here and sees a lack of cannon, Striker can go a glut of Mutalus, and there's absolute, there's no, there's no Dragoon, there's no Corsair, there's nothing. Third gas getting capped, by the way. And more, Zer even more Zerglings getting built. This is a lot of Zerglings for Striker. I think he's seeing how few the, the Zealots were, and this is the other problem for him. So second cannon now on the front here for Striker. Is this just going to be a straight-up Zergling bust? It's, I think it's going to be a Zergling Muta bust. And here's the problem. The Zealots might fan out, but they can get preoccupied. The Zealots are going to get preoccupied by those Zerglings, and that's going to free up the Mutalists to potentially uh, take a strike at the main. And we have no anti-air. And no cannons preventatively being dropped either. So the Zealots marching out. They're going to try to go, uh, go along that 9 o'clock path. The, they're running right in the Mutalisks. Striker ignoring them for the time being. Yeah, he's just headlong ignoring them and just going for the straight up kill attack instead. So the cannon's down and there are no Corsairs here. Absolutely no Corsairs. So this is a this is a wreck base. There's that first cannon. So the Zelts do manage to disrupt the nine o'clock, but this is an easy trade to make here for Striker. He's just got more. If it goes into base elimination, he's just got more stuff that will take longer to deal with. He can continually produce Zerglings and Mutalists in position, shuffle around. Looks like he built a creep colony behind the base. Right there, that's a great select fire there from Doodle. Try to get rid of that spire as quickly as possible. Maybe try to get rid of the Sutton colony as well. In the meantime, more Zerglings streaming across because this is, but yeah, this is gonna be GG from Doodle for sure. One cannon at the natural expansion is not gonna cut it. The Zelt's trying to do what they can. That Sutton colony is up. That protects the spawning pool. Able to actually do a lot of havoc to Striker's base in the meantime. Striker able to kill a lot of probes to end up with the overall worker lead. And the secondary problem is, is also... Yeah, there's GG. The secondary problem is, is also versus Zerg. Is when Zerg have larva and have that the minerals, they just recover a lot faster from... Uh, because you can just build a slew of drones really fast rather than just no drones. Anyway, game one, because of the lack of air, benefit to Striker. Uh, we'll see if Doodle can recover in game two. I got to give it to Doodle. He, he took a little bit of risk, was hoping to get a bit of an edge, but didn't pay off uh, in this instance. Hope you guys enjoyed it regardless. Thank you for listening.